working for a Russian television station, Anka Lizwal, was a hot topic. Remember yes, on Thursday on our show? And it went viral after her report on the crisis in the Ukraine ended in this twist live on the air. Take a look. Personally, I cannot be part of network funded by the Russian government that whitewashes the actions of Putin. I'm proud to be an American and believe in disseminating the truth. And that is why, after this newscast, I'm resigning. Wow. wow. So, wow. Russian television wow. says that her on the air deception was what they call self promotional stunt. But she's here today to set the record straight, and we thank you for coming on with us. So, you are an American, not a Russian. Uh, but you were working for a Russian station. Now, some people have said, you know, you could have quit, write a nice letter, send an email. You didn't have to do it live on television. They said that's self-promotion. Yeah. Well, you, you know, think? I could have quit. I could have, sent a nice, I could have sent an email. But you know what, Barbara? If I did that, nobody would have known. We wouldn't be talking about this right now. The world wouldn't know what the station is about. And I ethically, morally, I felt like I had to say the truth. So you were trying to tell people about the station. You were not trying to make a statement particularly about the Ukraine. Well, both. Both. Uh-huh. Wow. So, uh, oh. uh, go ahead. No, no, because I, I was looking at We were also talking about the fact that you are an American. You're working for a Russian-funded TV network. When you took the job, girl, what did you expect? Yeah, well, mm. when, when they, uh, they came to me, they approached me, they offered me the job. And what they told me, that this would be an opportunity to tell stories that the mainstream media ignores. Okay. And yes, I knew that it was funded by the Russian government, but there's a lot of news outlets that are funded wow. by a government in one way or another. You BBC, say. NPR, Al Jazeera, and they're looked at as respectable news outlets. Oh, when I took the job at the time, as far as I knew, the Cold War was over. And as we know, today is very yeah. different. Yeah. Did, did, did it's changing another, by the moment. There's a crisis job? there. Have you uh, no, Barbara, I, don't, I do not you have another want, job. Like a pitch? I do not <laughs> have another job. You, I don't know what I'm going to do the, next. Uh, you said the coverage was actually making you sick and it was a propaganda machine. Yes. So, uh, how, uh, I mean, how long did you actually work there? I was there for two years. So then at what point did you say, okay, I'm kind of have a feeling that this is right, yeah. not yeah. right? Well, in light of current events, I could see how the network was being used as a propaganda machine to promote mm. Putin's foreign policy. Okay. And everybody's like, so that's what kind of... Yes, 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 right kind of, now, right now. And it, everybody's saying two years, two years. But it's like, you know, in an abusive relationship and the woman finally leaves, do you blame her for getting in the relationship no. in the first yeah. place? In this or country, if a journalist disagrees... With the administration, they just get hired of Fox News. <laughs> well, I hope you get a job real soon. So cool. My friend yeah. works over at Fox News, and she's great, I have to tell you. That's what you call objective reporting. Look at this young woman. She is smart. She works hard. She does her homework. And she's looking for a job, right? Okay? She's we great. thank you, Liz Wall, for coming thank on you. and telling so us your story. We I appreciate it. Thank you. Great. We'll Good be right you. back. If it's making tabloid headlines, it's What's Poppin' with Sherry and Jenny, tomorrow.